Yeah, and Highway Patrol says this was a dangerous situation as the high speed chase of a suspected murderer barreled into this neighborhood. I was going on Julia up because I heard the gunshots and I was well, like, no way. These roommates say they jumped out of bed sometime after one this morning. A high speed chase ended two properties down from their home, stopping in a vacant lot. Like the cop cars zooming past. Crazy. Definitely. Definitely. Wild. I can't get over it. Law enforcement officers were chasing 20 year old Jalen Rout, who authorities would later learn was wanted for murder in Fayetteville. He allegedly shot and killed a teenager in 2021 and has been evading police ever since. The fact that they like kind of got off the highway and just so happened to be on the edge of our street is really scary. The chase first started in Johnston County. Highway Patrol says route was clock going 104 miles per hour on I-40 and deputies started pursuing him. Other agencies began assisting in the chase. A sheriff's deputy tried pulling him over, but he allegedly increased speed beyond 104 and crossed into Way County. Law enforcement says he got off the highway and ended up getting stuck in a grassy area of this lot. Route and officers exchanged gunfire before an officer shot him. He was sent to the hospital and died there of his injury. The mother of Anthony Adams tells me this is certainly not the ending she wanted. The family has been fighting for justice. Adams was allegedly killed by route nine days after his 17th birthday. His mom tells me he was going to school and had just purchased his first car. She describes him as a kind, gentle person. She is frustrated that route evaded arrest and says she does feel for the 20 year olds family during this time. No officers of law enforcement were injured. Uh, one trooper is on administrative leave right now, which is standard protocol. The State Bureau of Investigation is reviewing this incident. We're live in Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.